Doug hates candy wrappers, screaming baby sticky seeds with 50 ads and popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see, cause Doug loves movies. This table was in my way. That's why I went around the long way. Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug, and I love movies. This is Doug Loves Movies. That sounded like a suicide note. That sounded like it was very painful, sad. I don't know what was going on there, but... We're coming to you once again from the American Comedy Company in Sweet Home, San Diego! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's Tuesday, December 26, 2017. And this is our 90th episode this year. And there's no more. Uh, between now and the uh, first, so this is the last uh, episode of the year, and that means I want to see the best name tags ever. Okay, that's pretty good. So, <laughs> what happened? Why are there's hardly a, okay? There's enough for. <laughs> Holy shit! I really, you know, just assume San Diego. They always, you know, go crazy with the name tags. But the, it's the holidays, right? You're too busy rapping shit? <laughs> Opening shit? Okay. That was really shocking. It really looked like there was three name tags. I was like, congratulations, you three. You're going to be chosen. But uh, we'll talk about Steve Juice in a little bit and what, what, what went wrong with his name tag. Uh, um, we've got the Passion of the Krista with lots of uh, those chocolate... Sticks, pretzel sticks, Pocky? Yeah. You got, and you put a bunch of them on there and they say, Pocky me. Pocky me. And then what does it say on the Doritos? Um, what kind of cheese is mine? What kind of cheese is mine? Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. Yeah. Nacho cheese. Not your. <laughs> Listen, young man. It's not your cheese. And then what's this Empire Strikes Matt? Is this one I've seen before? Yeah. yeah you've, have you won stuff before? No. no. no? Okay. okay. All right. Well, I have a very good feeling about you being picked tonight. And uh, <laughs> thank you to everybody who brought these tiny, flimsy, piece of shit name tags. <laughs> I love you. I like everybody who just showed up tonight. It's the day after Christmas and, uh, it's, you know, the holiday taint as I like to call it, is just getting started. We're in the tip of the taint. <laughs> Doug plugs. <laughs> the taint shows continue tomorrow night in Irvine, California. You guys been there? Yeah. Yep. None of you like it. <laughs> I get that. Uh, they got a place there called the Speculums. The Spectrum. The Spectrum. <laughs> got a Ferris wheel and a gynecologist's office and <laughs> and I will be there tomorrow night and Thursday night for stand-up comedy shows and I always urge them to bring their name tags to those shows so they can play a game with me at the end and then they don't. I take it back. A few people bring them but uh, hopefully lots of people will be hip to it this time. And then next Tuesday, January 2nd is the first Doug Loves Movies in 2018. I'll be back at UCB Franklin in Los Angeles at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, not 9.30. So if you're driving up from San Diego, that is going to be rough. <laughs> Has anybody ever come up for a show in L.A. from here? Yeah? And uh, either like an afternoon one or a late night one, right? I would go to At Midnight first. You went to At Midnight? Then you come see me. Ah, I like that. All right. Hey, thanks for bringing that canceled show up. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday, January 9th, Getting Dug with High returns to the Troubadour in West Hollywood. Me and my guests will 
just get high in front of a crowd in a rock club. It's always fun. And Douglas Movies is back at Cap City in Austin on Saturday, January 13th at 4.20. And I'm doing stand-up in Oxnard, California at Levity Live on Wednesday, January 17th. Have any of you ever gone as far as Oxnard? Yeah? <laughs> then stopped right there? No better name place in the world. A friend of mine used to have a joke about how they name Oxnard and then he would mime that he was uh, using a, a bull in the fields, plowing, right? And then he'd look down <laughs> at the bull's balls, or <laughs> and that's why they named it Oxnard. <laughs> so stupid. And I'm happy to say that the Valentine's Day tradition continues. Yeah. Doug Loves Movies is back here at the American Comedy Company on Wednesday, February 14th. Also at 8 o'clock, and uh, tickets are going are on sale now. Yeah, so I generally don't like people using their devices during a show. Most comedy clubs don't allow it. But if you want to get online and buy tickets right now, I will not yell at you. <laughs> or you could say that's what you're doing while you're texting your friends or checking shit on IMDb. For all my dates and deeds, go to DougLovesMovies.com. Yes, Doug Loves <laughs> Let's look at the prize bag. I bought a big Christmassy bag. It's a day after Christmas. I know you guys are here, so you can't do it right now, but take down your fucking Christmas lights. <laughs> Let's, you know, if we're going to win this war on Christmas, we sh it shouldn't last so long. <laughs> Keep it tight. Let's have a tight Christmas. Well, that's a good song for like, a, that's like a dirty Christmas song. I want a tight Christmas. All I want is a tight Christmas. Uh... <laughs> I brought, I love to do this now that I discovered that so many hotels have these in the cities I go to, a magazine none of you have ever read, San Diego Magazine. Yeah, I'm gonna get you hooked. Whoever wins the prize bag tonight is suddenly gonna be like, I wanna know all there is to know about San Diego in monthly installments. I put in the prize bag the Santa hat I wore on all eight episodes of Tate Crazy Nights. For one final time, I'll do the, the graduation elf joke. This is an elf graduating. That's it. There's a limited number of people who got to see that. What the hell was going on there? Uh, this is the thing I was gifted uh, from the company that makes Getting Dug With High. I don't know why I opened it. Uh, you can tell what it is just from the packaging. It's called Swell, and it's a bottle, you know, that you carry around like a weirdo, and, I mean, a person that cares about the environment, or wants hot drinks hot for 12 hours, or cold drinks cold for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want either of those things. I'm, uh... <laughs> Pretty content with city life where I'll just find whichever temperature water I want and enjoy it at my leisure wherever I want. Uh, but this is a swell gift if you ask me. <laughs> and then, oh fuck, this is a, um, I love this uh, over on Market Street, there's a hipsters, hip, I don't know if a hipsters go there, but it's pretty hip seeming. A sushi place called Bang Bang and uh, I had some sake there and I stole the uh, <laughs> little tiny sake uh, sake cup because I love I don't know I'm crazy like there's something about drinking from such a tiny cup makes you feel like you're not drinking very much <laughs> you know like I'll get a big giant carafe of sake or a whole bottle of it and I'll drink it this much at a time and still drink all of it but still feel like I somehow, oh, even ice cubes really fill it up. But I'm just wondering if I should get one of these to just carry around in my pocket and whenever I'm in a bar, just uh, drink my vodka out of it. Oh, that's delightful. Kind of, kind of tastes like sake. Does sake stick to the glass? Like, does the taste remain in the glass? Or does the glass have a...
All right. Well, when I'm finished drinking all that all that out of there, I'm going to put that in the back in the prize bag. And um, Speedweed gave me a, a bunch of cool stuff, including a 420 bar. It's a medible cannabis milk chocolate bar with 200 milligrams of THC in it. And uh, everyone here, if you win this tonight, you can't legally enjoy it until January 1st. <laughs> Just had to throw that out there. You do what you want. And then, <laughs> but the recreational pot shops aren't, it, they didn't do it right, so they're not going to open right on January 1st here in California. You guys know about this? I know, right? Yeah, you still got your medal. Nobody cares. <laughs> oh, really? There's a delay in me going from a, one, a different place? <laughs> That's like if a downtown 7-Eleven were closed. Oh, okay. Guess I'm shit out of luck. No one else has Slim Jims. <laughs> um... I'm finally trying to get rid of all of my little tiny Christmas peacemaker pipes because they're Christmassy or, or they look like a peppermint candy, whatever you prefer. But it's all pretty Christmassy to me. I want to try to get rid of all of them by uh, January 1st. So uh, I'm putting one of them in the prize bag. But then who here wants one? That gentleman? That nice lady? That dude? No. <laughs> make eye contact and then say, ready, dude, ready? Okay, your hand's ready. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Putting them right in hands. That's how I do it. <laughs> I was shitty at sports in school, and now as an adult, I love being good at it. Kind of. Right in the hand. <laughs> All right. Block your faces if you don't want to get hit in the face with a little piece of rubber. He said at the whorehouse. <laughs> one more kind of close one. Where's the kind of close person? I don't want to fucking murder anybody with these little thingies. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I'm going to give out a bunch more. I'm going to toss them into the crowd tomorrow night in Irvine. They're going to go nuts because everyone there is rich and don't care. Uh, <laughs> let's get my guests out here. Holy crap. It fell on the ground, my script? Oh, shit. I think, I think the same thing has happened at the same club before. But last time it happened, the eagle uh, swooped down, picked it up in his mouth, and uh, I had to make up the whole thing. We should come up with a name for this guy. Sam, maybe? Sam the American Eagle? Eddie the Eagle. Okay, these are great suggestions of other eagles. I want a name for this fucking guy. <laughs> we'll work on it. I'll take it back to the office tomorrow. Benson. What's that? Benson the Eagle. Benson the Eagle. Getting warmer. <laughs> no, that's stupid. I don't want more suggestions. I was joking around. What was it? Al? Shut up! What is that again? <laughs> no, I got it. <laughs> Where are you? Hold your hand up, that lady. Here you go, ready? Yay! <laughs> Donuts hit the floor all the time. These dumb rubber pipes, it don't matter if they touch the floor. Everybody's catching them. It's crazy. All right, uh, let's give a big warm welcome to. Uh, we got two oldies and a newbie. It's Ngayu Bila, Mike Schram, and Jacob Siroff! Oh, and everybody's food just arrived, too. So put it, put it, here, bring it here. Yeah, bring it. <laughs> we'll just pass it around He's the front row. He's just setting it up in the, oh, here, here you go. Can you, yeah, might as well. I mean, 
Uh, hopefully people won't chew on Mike. No, don't, don't give it to me. I don't want any of it. Don't give me all of it. What kind of server are you? You're not. You're in charge. Yeah. Gaio's got this. Do we need a, a, we have a stool? stool? There's we got right one. We might, maybe another one might be helpful. Yeah, we'll see. Holiday spread? What are you, what are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> it's like fucking with the prize bag. I'm going to have to start wearing it in a briefcase with a... With a handcuff. Handcuff. <laughs> right, like a Blues Brother harmonica. Yeah. Oh. That's great. That's I'm getting great. old, you guys. Yeah, that was a great reference for all the people that are not uh, millennials. But they still play that movie all the time all on the time. Uh, TV cable. TBS. Yeah. Uh, let's meet our guests individually as they uh, enjoy their various food things. <laughs> is this, are these pretzels? Is that what this is here? I, I believe that's I think pretzels. So. Those are pretzels. Those long they look, ass. They're they they're like, look they're <laughs> hey, let's have a salty dildo. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a bar around here called that. Yeah. It's like a it's right around kielbasa covered in maple syrup. The other side of the double deuce. Let's say hello, everybody, to a first timer who I barely know. I just met him tonight, but I have great, great feelings about this man. It's Mike Schram, everybody. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank Sounds famous. Much. Sounds famous already. Right? Mike Schram. Who doesn't know Mike Schram? That's right. Two syllables back to back. Get it He's over got with a couple thousand followers on the Twitter. It's true. I have yeah. a solid amount of Twitter followers. Yeah, usually I, when people are like, hey, Doug, have me on your show. I look at their Twitter following and it says negative three. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not even possible to have that number. And uh, yeah, but you uh, have a bit of a following, but uh, tell everybody why. Thank you, yes. Uh, I, uh, mainly, it's because I'm a, I used to be a blogger. I used to write for a, a site called Joystick.com, which is a site about video games. It was, there you go. One person has heard of it. Thank you very much. Uh, and then uh, I've that also... That means a hundred half. There you go. In the world. In the world entirely. I also worked on a site called The Unofficial Apple Weblog, and uh, I'm an actor. I'm an improviser. I'm a writer. I do improv here in San Diego, Sweet Home San Diego, at a place called Finest City Improv, which is a great theater up uh, at the Lafayette Hotel. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and it's a great name, too, because this is the finest city, according to uh, what they call it. <laughs> I mean, that's, the the, finest, that's the slogan. That's the official slogan, the, the finest, finest city. The finest city improv in the finest city. It's finest yeah. city improv. It's great. Yeah. That's, yeah. So check it out. It's a lot of fun. And uh, if you're in San Diego, if you're from San Diego or you come down here, it's well worth checking out some improvised comedy and seeing stuff up there. So thank you're you like very an much. ambassador. Yeah, I am. That was impressive. Check I, out I, improvised comedy because uh, what comedy we're, we're doing fan. here is completely scripted by David Mamet. What I wanted to say, there's one Fuck thing it. that I wanted to make sure that I said on this show, and uh, there's one thing that I want to make sure that I is it. I uh, want to make it a true daily double because that's the wrong show. True daily double. <laughs> oh, I'll save that for next time. I like uh, a salty dildo. I did want to say. Uh, Doug Benson has put out a ton of shows this year and thank you very much Doug for all your great work this year and all the shows that you've done thank you that is so sweet I feel like I'm coming to this as a fan and so as a fan I just want to say and I think everyone in this room and everyone listening uh, appreciates it thank you all for all your great work all this year well thank you there's two or three people here that don't listen to it at all oh well (laughs) yeah there's people here who have spouses that are obsessed (laughs) Friends that drag them down here because people don't like to go to play things alone. And I always say, come to Doug those movies alone. You will make friends because everyone's super nice. Yeah. Especially if you smoke weed. Well, <laughs> that's just another that's layer. Why I, that's why I show up. <laughs> that's right. Let's hear it for Ngaiu Bilam! Yeah. This is the day when all the Canadians give their old weed to the less fortunate, right? Hot, hot boxing day? <laughs> a Canada, a Canada joke as far from the border as you can be. Yeah, but I saw. Well, that we're very close to a border. I enjoyed that tweet today when you tweeted that uh, sort of reference, and uh, I, I refined it a little yeah, bit for yeah, the stage. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I enjoyed it then, and I enjoyed it now, and uh, yeah, it's uh, Boxing Day in Canada. We should. We, I'd be remiss if we didn't mention it. Yeah, yeah. it's also the first day of Kwanzaa, so. Now, does Kwanzaa, is Kwanzaa like uh, uh, Hanukkah and like floats? 
Kinda. It's uh. It's more like the Holocaust. It's not real. <laughs> Why do you start? Didn't we have a discussion? We had a discussion before the show. Wait till I introduce you, Mel Gibson. <laughs> Anti-Mel. Like, nothing like Jewish Mel hates Holocaust me. deniers. As I was saying, uh, Kwanzaa is a seven-day celebration, and each day has a theme, right? So today's theme is Umoja, which is unity, and then there's other ones like self-determination, collective responsibility, cooperative economics, creativity, faith, self-determination. It goes on and on. How many days? days? Seven. Seven. Okay. It ends on uh, January 1st, and then you celebrate each uh, theme. Oh, it's always at the and same you're supposed time. to give a gift, a small gift, not a giant one, but a small gift every day along one of the themes. We don't really do that. Uh, I thought you said collective. today's theme was emoji. I was like... Yes. <laughs> Finally, today's yeah. laughing woman. Everybody emoji. <laughs> sits down and watches the emoji movie. <laughs> <laughs> We've updated it for the millennials. All right. Good. All right. Uh, also joining us, and this is a uh, we're at a crossroads with this gentleman. <laughs> Controversial. This is a very exciting time. It's Jacob Siroff. Yeah. <laughs> cool. 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 Real quick, Doug, because I, I know you got something to do. I, uh, I have to say, I'm having a real like serendipitous day with Angayo, and I haven't even told him this yet. But today, earlier today, I tweeted, I woke up and I made a tweet that I thought was kind of funny, but I knew it was really like weed inside baseball. And it was like that uh, Keith is basically the Tobiko of weed. Well, Tobiko, yeah. The, I saw yeah. the word Tobiko, didn't know what it meant. Oh, it's so a, down to the next It's tweet. the sushi. It's the fl- it's the fish eggs they put on top of the sushi. Yeah, I didn't know what it yeah, meant. Right. So, so me, the joke meant nothing to me. I figured it was probably a solid joke, but no laugh for me. Right. And Moving I, on. And I knew that was going to happen, but in my mind when I tweeted it, I thought, at, you know, at best, maybe Ngaio will like this. I love that right. joke. And then within, within five minutes, he liked it. And then I went over to Facebook, opened it, and it says, hey, you and Ngaio have been friends for nine years today, right? Then I texted Doug and I said, who's on the show today? And he said, Ngayo and, uh, and a rando. Marlon Rando yeah, over here. Yeah, that's right. That's me. Rando Calrissian is here. Yeah, Rando Calrissian. That's a better one. <laughs> but anyway, so that's, I don't know, maybe something special's faded to happen I'm, with I'm us tonight. I'm apparently your, yeah. your plate of shrimp six ninety nine for Repo <laughs> Man right now. Anyway, oh, so. I'm so just going to keep doing them. I don't give a shit. Well, it's for things like that that uh, there's some people who don't care for Jacob out there. And, um, <laughs> Is that why? You they, don't they, say. They think he wastes a lot of time not talking about movies. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you brought it up on the one of the 12 Guests of Christmas shows in uh, Los Angeles that uh, somebody out there uh, start, you know, started a thing. We did Tate Crazy Nights. So somebody suggested... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's it go? Yeah. A year of people are a like year a off. year off of Siroff. Right. Yeah, hashtag, year off of Siroff. Hashtag year off Siroff is the hashtag. Year off of Siroff, and um, so certainly let's start that as a hashtag. That's <laughs> that's fun. But I was also thinking, you know what? Let's really take this to the people because I think, as you could tell by the ovation when he walked out tonight. And uh, just well, in, and I'm a, I'm general. a fan of the show, and I I told him backstage, solidly pro Siroff I am, and I mean I know there's dozens of us out there as well, solidly people who who appreciate Jacob Siroff on the show, and glad that he's glad that he's here. All right, thank you, Mr. Calrissian. My point <laughs> is, <laughs> I think we should let uh, Mike and other listeners that have uh, you know strong feelings about this. Uh, m- much like the way Andy Kaufman was voted off of Saturday Night Live, I want to start a campaign where Jacob does not get to come back on the show in 2018 unless I receive individual tweets with the hashtag. Uh, <laughs> it has to be as catchy as year, year off of Siroff is the hashtag. I need to I need to get those. I'll keep track. I need to have people tweet at me. 500 different people have to say, I want Jacob back. Starting How about the, uh, the Jacob Must Stay Club? There you go, yeah, because you need a <laughs> well, hashtag that okay, is Okay, but I, just the trouble is you need zero. one hashtag to, um, uh, to uh, put, put the whole thing in perspective, and if people write both, then I don't know which one they're voting for. So, <laughs> so just tell me uh, that you don't want hashtag a year off of zero off, or you do want hashtag a year off of zero off. And uh, the other one's clever, but I got this. Fine. All right. <laughs> did, did you give him the number already, Doug? Just trying to help. And the, Did I say 500 people? 
Yeah. So yeah. So there's there's like a hundred. So there's about a hundred here tonight. <laughs> so that's a great start because everybody here is super into you. Sexy. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. I I I'm realizing now that you're gonna say something between now and the end of Go the show, where people are gonna be like, oh, do I want to vote or do I not want to vote? But. Uh, but yeah, so thank we'll, you, Jacob, we'll, for uh, putting up with yeah, this. Yeah, that'll uh, be fun. This stunt. It's a stunt. We'll see how the next uh, few Holocaust jokes go. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes before uh, the people demand that you come back. Because I, I do believe we'll get there eventually. I wouldn't do this if I thought you'd be gone forever. Okay. But I also don't mind waiting until 2019. But, yeah. But when, when, when we, you were we'll, t- have, we'll have two more Star Wars movies to talk about. I thought... When you come back in January of 2019. When you told me the idea, I thought you were going to say like 40. Not 40 fi- people? 40 people. And I thought, no, you know... Oh, we got to make five, it a number, dude. 500. Yeah, 500 okay. people. I think you'll get there. 500 days yeah. of zero. I will say... if you're going to vote for Jacob to come back. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob, as Rando Carizian, I will say, I've got, a, I've got a bad feeling about this. I will say, I think my supporters are like Trump supporters. They lie at the polls because they're ashamed to admit it, but secretly they're a fan. They're right, probably, but I think they're also, I, I just announced prior to bringing you guys on that I'll be back here next month. And so I think there's also just people are like, okay, we, we don't need him here next month. He can be back on the show eventually, but he's always a good sport about driving down from L.A., and so we don't, you know, we don't want to risk that. Because also it's Valentine's Day. Yeah. Who needs the Holocaust jokes on Valentine's Day? My, Nobody. My mother literally died on Valentine's Day. What? <laughs> yeah. I know. That's a great... Really? Can I get some sympathy you're, you're hashtags? Saying it, you're saying it with the biggest smile no, on true. your face. No, it's true. She died on Valentine's Day. It's just saying it's not like a special... It's not like a, you know, what, whenever I've been in like relationships, it's like, hey, you know, maybe you should get me some flowers. This is my day. My mom died. 98. Valentine's Day. I'm just enjoying my new affectation where I'm going to be a guy who shows up with a sake glass uh. and insists on drinking vodka out of it. Mixed with soda, not just straight vodka. It's Japanese. a cocktail in a sake glass. Japanese and German. <laughs> next to the Holocaust denier. This is yeah. great. This is great. It's so worth the 10-hour drive from Sacramento. It is. I love it here. Um, Listen, though, uh, you guys are spraying the streets for hepatitis right now? Is that <laughs> what's going on in downtown San Diego? Is that, that's true. You just, yeah, I saw a sign. It was, you know, it was crazy. Soiling green is people, everybody. New strain, hepatitis SD. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love San Diego. I had a tattoo down here one time, but before, before the outbreak. All right, here's a new hashtag. Goodbye, Ongayo. <laughs> Not Ongayo through Ohio. We can play Cincinnati, Cleveland, Akron, <laughs> Toledo. Right. Let's, uh, we got to do prize bag talk, guys. Uh, let's start with Mike. What would you bring for the bag for I brought your a first appearance? A sizable amount of things for the first appearance. I yeah, feel like I had to get the crowd it's too on, my, much. It's too much. on my side today. Uh, <laughs> Something I, from I, the finest city, perhaps? I do. I, I have a couple things from the finest city in that they're from my apartment. <laughs> and I decided to share them with you all. The, the, probably the best thing I have, uh, Cards Against Humanity does a holiday bullshit thing every year where you pay them 15 bucks and then they take your money and they do a bunch of great stuff with it. They, uh, they, they bought a section of the border wall so Trump couldn't build on it this year. That was awesome. And they, uh, they redistributed the money. Like they took it from the top. top. That's what stopped him, by the way. I'll take it. He's still going to build the rest of the wall any and second now. So one of the things that I put in here, and I don't know if I have it, but it's in a bag, I promise. It is a, uh, a home game ticket to the Joliet Sluggers. Uh, do you, do, are you a big fan of the Joliet Sluggers? They, they bought a... Uh, I'm the guessing that's your ride home. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, I'm walking home tonight. <laughs> they bought the, uh, the naming rights to the stadium. It's called Cards Against Humanity Sports Place, and they gave everybody a ticket to a Joliet Sluggers game. I will not be anywhere near Joliet this coming year, so I'm giving it away to you all, and I hope that someone can take the ticket and deliver it to someone who is closer to Joliet or is in Joliet and can go to the game. So Joliet, that's what I'm going to do. Joliet, Illinois. Send it, yeah, Joliet, Illinois. Okay. Send yeah, it down Joliet, to Joliet, Jake, and Elwood Blues. See, like the Blues yeah. Brothers. 
Why are you pointing at him? I said it. <laughs> you were both together. You both together. I'm just saying, I also hate Illinois Nazis. <laughs> so I have a ticket for the Joliet Slammers game. I have that made uh, you accidentally say Illinois. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I have a uh, video game called Broken Age. It's all sealed. It's a special edition of a great game called Broken Age. I have a board game called You've Been Sentenced, which I have never played. It was given to me a couple years ago. For I've Christmas. heard that. That's based on the popular TV show, The High Court. Huh. Uh, and the reason it's I brought it... high and play uh, court again, games. Uh, the reason I brought it is because on the back of the uh, thing, they mentioned that it can be played as a drinking game, so I figured you guys would enjoy that. And then what are you trying to say? The front, it says on the front, seriously hilarious. <laughs> it is. There you go. Like, and it's, that's, one, it's not fucking around about how much fun it's going to be. Coming out of your goddamn ears. You know, that's all very funny. It also says over 20 national awards won. This is the major award-winning game that you can have. By if I win, and I guess. There's like more than one or two fucking awards for games. <laughs> I know for a fact the board game awards. <laughs> I know there are over twenty for sure. And then I've got some T-shirts uh, from my old podcast, which is no longer on. It's called the Incredible Podcast of Amazing Awesomeness, and I got a couple shirts for you to wear. We went a little subtle with the name because we didn't want to oversell it. So, uh, tip was what we call it for short. So there you go. These are those T-shirts also are no longer being sold. They're hard to find. So, if nothing else. You can Someone's eBay looking them. for them, you think? Yeah, I don't know. eBay them for a couple of bucks, whatever you can sell a t-shirt for. Thank there you, you dude. Thank you very much. That is a big bag of stuff. Uh, Mike Shram. I can tell I can tell from his really nerdy prizes he's gonna be good at this. Well, we'll see. How, we'll see how uh, that goes. Uh, I am Jacob, thrilled. what do you uh, what do you have? Okay. So I, I'm eating a chicken finger, which um, I have um, uh, you, you're, you do the loot crate thing, right? You're big on loot crate? Yeah, yeah, they sponsor the show a lot. Well, I can't afford it, but the, I brought a friend with me. You got to order more than 19th. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, that's the cutoff. It's over. Are they they're ending? No, every month. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know. I really, well, I have a friend that signed up for it, and they didn't, I brought them with me, and I made them give me a prizes for the prize bag. Oh, okay. They got in for free, right? I guess so. Yeah. I so, I don't, um, I don't know what you, how you work it with your that's friends. That's what I do. Free, you know, you probably get to smoke weed with Doug Benson, you get in for free, but you got to give me prizes for the bag. That's my That's a great deal. Yeah. So, just tell us what the fuck is in the bag. I got a I got a uh, Lee, uh, uh, Lilu Dallas multi pass. You're off of zero. All right. All right. <laughs> you said you were on my side, Doug. I know, and I'm mm. saying the hashtag that I want people to vote for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure. <laughs> well, there's a Lilu multi pass. Whoa! From Fifth Element. Yeah, that's I pretty love cool. It. That's Me pretty neat. Remember, she said that it was really cute. She was like, "Multi pass." Yeah. Yeah, that was a fun moment. Lilu Dallas, multi pass. <laughs> that and goes I, all the way back to the Fifth uh, Element. I also got a cool Avengers Incredible Hulk from uh, Age of Ultron. Okay. Ooh. Pretty cool figure, some kind of figure. Nice. And oops, I'm like, I bought the the Poke Bowl or Friends of Poke Bowl. They gave us the um, you know, that the po travel Poke Bowl. <laughs> Sorry. Is that it? No, that's it. But I have something else that's really cool inside the, um, this is just a little weed thing. Did you ever see the all-black cast of American Beauty? <laughs> that's a... I think they did it, did it in Brooklyn. It's a stage play. It was just called... It was like the whiz for American Beauty. So that's a, a little just thing to put your weed in. The and listeners then, are going to have no idea what just happened. I know. Should we tell him? Nope. No. No, okay. no, no. Well, that's why you got to come to the show. Uh-oh, the Hulk's Wait. coming out of the box. No, he's not, but I, I just use this to... My, my, I have a seven-year-old son, and I asked him to make a, a drawing of the Douglas Movies logo to give away. For reals? Yeah, and I showed it to him for like about three seconds yesterday. Then today he goes, hey, I want to do that. And I go, you want to see the thing? He goes, no, I got it. He'd seen the logo once, and after three seconds he, he, he drew this. Hey! So that's pretty cool. If you... That's, he did that off memory. I thought, like... I thought it was pretty cool. It says, yeah, why is it here and not on your refrigerator? Because I wanted to give it away. Oh, and also because you think it's funny that he wrote Douge Loves Movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Douge Loves Movies. <laughs> take a picture of that before you give it away, though. So we can That's a good it. idea. I should. Yeah, anyway. take a picture of that with a Kodak. Or better yet, take a picture of me with a Kodak. I can rhyme as good as Pitbull. <laughs> all right, thank cool. you for all All right, that. all right. Um, I waited for you uh, to go last, Ngaio, because you usually bring uh, what I think is the best possible thing to contribute. I brought marijuana. <laughs> yeah. 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 California law. <laughs> California law allows a person over the age of 21 to give another person over the age of 21 marijuana. 
So I have number 110. Ooh, and number 432. These are... Uh, Two samples uh, from the Emerald Cup. I was a judge at the Emerald Cup Outdoor Organic Cannabis Competition. 110 has notes of tangerine. <laughs> and 432 is covered in crystals, fucking greasy, and it, uh, it smells like gas. I, I was a little underwhelmed by the flavor, but the appearance and the effects were really, really nice. So, and then we can smoke it. And then I have some other weed too, if you just want to try weed later. So, but you got to win. All right, pass that down. Great, great job. Oh, two for two. I was going to put it. All right, whatever. And now. Oh, sorry. Jacob, you're already used to picking stuff up. We might as well. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) All right, so all of that is going into, uh, we got multiple bags. And congratulations. Multi-bags. Lilo Dallas, multi-bags. That's very similar to the past that he just showed. It's very similar. All right, so we've got right. hashtag goodbye and Gaio. <laughs> <laughs> Year off of Siroff and Scram Shram. <laughs> nice. Smoke Doug under the rug. <laughs> and uh, I got a question, Mike, that you, since you listened to the show, I think you probably thought in your head I should have the answer to this ready to go. But also you're an improviser, so maybe you'll do <laughs> Just come up with something off the top of your dome. Uh, but what was the last movie you saw? I saw a movie that uh, you can tell me whether this counts or not. It was on Netflix called Bright, a new movie out on Netflix. Uh, but Netflix Bright. movies are movies, unfortunately. I mean, it's you know, film. They, they do throw them into movie theaters for little brief uh, runs so that they could be get uh, award consideration and whatnot. But uh, I've heard very mixed things about Bright. I take that back. I've Never, I don't talk to anybody who liked it. It's but, bad, uh, yeah. It's been bad. It's been, it, the reviews are bad. I, I will say I uh, am not as controversial as, as the man next to me, but I did enjoy Suicide Squad, which is David Ayer's uh, movie right before Bright. I liked it. Not a, a lot of people liked it. I did. You did like it? Well, there you go. Uh, but uh, His Bright, best, I like the end of Watch is my favorite end uh, of Watch, da- yeah. David Ayer's movie. And I, I like what... And the tank one. Did you do the tank one? Yeah, with the face. Yeah. Fury? Fury. 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 That was good, too, because Shia LaBeouf uh, took out one of his teeth because he thought his character would be missing a tooth. <laughs> and that made that movie so much better. <laughs> totally worth it to have a fake tooth for the rest of his life. Tooth maybe he'll play another character, that, or maybe he thought it was going to be a franchise. <laughs> maybe he's like, well, this is going to be a trilogy, so I don't, I don't mind losing a tooth. Tooth reminds me that Will Smith is in Bright. Wait. Oh, tell the tooth? Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> too fast, too fast. Uh, but uh, uh, but I did really enjoy. Too furious. It. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a kick out of it, and I think what I like about it is that David Ayer uh, he puts this silly looking makeup on people, and these sort of and the effects are pretty good. But he looks he puts this pretty silly, but then he treats it like it's the most serious thing in the abs- in the world. So like in in uh, in Bright, there's an, a police officer in L.A. who is an orc, and his makeup looks pretty goofy. But the movie treats it like, all right, this is the most serious character. Oh, dude, we're gonna it's a play. great actor, isn't it? Owen Edgerton? Uh, Joel Edgerton. Joel, Joel sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's Owen good. Edgerton's he's a great actor. It's mine. great. But no, Doug, he, Joel Edgerton played Uncle Owen in the Star Wars prequels. There you go. Yeah, so there you go. That's maybe what you were thinking of. God damn it. We should just, I'm going to change the name of this podcast to Screeching Halt. <laughs> Hashtag Screeching Halt. Uh, but I liked it. It was a fun movie. It was terrible, and I don't necessarily recommend it. But if you like Suicide Squad or David Ayer's movies, then it's well worth a watch. And they're already making a sequel. They already they already signed off for it. They already do it. That's it's how they terrible. do it on Netflix. I liked it. You might. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. Incisive criticism <laughs> from our new friend. But yeah, I'll watch that shit because it's on Netflix. So I'll just like I'll watch it. But I gotta you know. It's a little back in my queue at this point. There's a couple things I want to watch first. I want to watch that uh, uh, Andy Kaufman, Jim Carrey thing. Yeah. Ugh. Jim and Andy. I want to look at that. I want to finish season one of Ozark. Yeah. But then I think I'll watch. That's Bright will be next after those things. I've heard good things about uh, Wormwood as well, which is Errol yeah, yeah. Morris documentary. On so much so good. Sh- there's another fucking thing. God. Godless. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I hear that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, good place. Show. Jeff Daniels killer. Yes, in good that place show. is what I meant to say. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it's Godless. a good show. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I thought you were correcting me. Godless, good place. 
<laughs> for some people. Yeah, no, like yeah. that's like a conversation with your grandma. <laughs> she, she'd get those two titles mixed in. Uh, what was the last movie you saw in Gaio? Uh, I rewatched uh, with Christmas for my with my family for uh, we watched uh, Baby Driver. So it was like the fourth time yeah. I'd seen that movie, and I you know you notice some something different every time. The, the sound mix on that film is just incredible. And uh, what I noticed uh, last night was that the gunshots are all synced up with the soundtrack. They're super rhythmic, because I had my back turned, because I seen it many times I was washing dishes, and I heard the gunfight. I was like, shit, why am I dancing? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's all synced up. No, no, yeah, okay. and like the crazy. sirens sync up in the uh, Queen song. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's really... Um, it's an incredible film. He did a good job. It could be my favorite film yeah. of... Uh, it would win. It, it would win more awards if it was a drama, you know. But it's fun, so it does. You know, it those very movies dramatic. don't win as much. Yeah. What do you need, Jacob? Oh, I'm trying to get a drink from the server with the black there you eye. Go. The so guy with the black eye over here. I don't know. Black? black no, black. You have a black eye. Why would it be messed up? Sorry, dude. Yeah. All right. Welcome to San Diego. <laughs> well, so tell him what you want. Oh, the, just another one of what I had. It's a, Tito. Listen, How no. would he know? He's a black guy. Oh, they, t- whoa, whoa! What the fuck? The <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! It was t- t- uh, Tito's and Cranberry. Thanks, man. Sorry, but you know, he, th- it's a white a gentleman Shit. with a black and eye, a and I got it was really. I was just trying to wave at him to get a new drink, and then I saw the black eye, and it was really distracting. I was like, what the, what the yeah. fuck? That's the best well, way can, you could describe a person: the guy with the beard, maybe the person who works here in the nice well, he shirt, or the guy who's just standing right there, and you're talking into a microphone to him. <laughs> hey, uh, guy with the black eye. It freaked. Well, oh, I thought that? you were talking to someone behind you, me. Why would you draw attention to that? Is my point. Yeah, it is. Now we all want to know why he's got a black eye. That's my point. It's very weird. Is he an MMA fighter or I just a know. shitty waiter? I assume it's domestic <laughs> abuse. Yeah, or that. I would say, mind your business. He's not supposed to talk about Fight Club. <laughs> but he looks like he's married to Brad Pitt. That's one of the rules. It's a rule. <laughs> There's a guy in the front that half chanted "You're off of Siroff to and Gaio. <laughs> half chant. Uh, You're off of Zoom. <laughs> Wait, so United what, States. What was your answer? Baby driver. Oh yeah. Gunshots edited perfectly Jay from Gun. behind. The sound dishes. mix is crazy. They should win best sound mix. Yeah, oh, uh, you know, it'll certainly be up for a few of those uh, audio editing awards. Yeah. It's so edit it, just edit. Whoever the Foley, I'm gonna like, look up the great. Foley artist and, and send them some cookies or liquor or something. What? Well, you, you like weed? Have some. If you need, if you need Foley of a dude smoking weed, call me up. I'll come over. Jacob. Uh, I also did some preaching halt. Some. <laughs> <laughs> it's the name of the show. I kept it I, moving. That was a rolling <laughs> stop. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, what's with your black eye? <laughs> <laughs> like, black eye didn't even want to come back. <laughs> He's in a fight in the alley right now. <laughs> uh, I did some Christmas viewing yesterday, and I did a double feature, so I'll tell you the one I saw second, which was uh, The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. Good film. Ooh. Fine film. Yeah, which was a big, yeah. big, big movie for me. I saw it opening night in the theaters as a kid. I was like, the trailer got me, and I like Time Bandits. So, uh, yeah. Uma I, Thurman on a half uh, shell is pretty so What hot. is she like? And I don't, yeah, and she's really young. Like, young. No, not that young, 20s. 19, maybe? I think. No. No, she's, she's really young. I mean, when she'd I, already been in stuff. We already knew who she was. Really? Like, we'd already saw her a boobies da- in or Dangerous, the dangerous, dangerous Liaisons. Liaisons. That Liaisons. was first. I guess, yes. yeah, I guess it was. That was like 85, huh? <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a big movie. The more French movie. I make it sound, the less crass yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. That I'm talking about her boobies. Yeah, you can get that on French uh, daytime television. Yeah, yeah. You say it like that. Was, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm bad with years in movies, but, uh, but that's a good one. I, it's a good, and for me, it's actually, I like Terry Gilliam It's movies, my favorite Terry Gilliam. And be, but I learned from watching the Lost in La Mancha film about you know, his failed attempt at making the, the Don Quixote movie that he hates it and considers it like his greatest failure is, is Baron Munchausen. And he, he thinks Time Bandits is like his crown jewel. But I actually I like, love Time Bandits. I do too, but I like Baron Munchausen a little bit more. Time yeah. Bandits has a little more uh, Monty Python sensibility in it, which I enjoy. For sure. Like in Time Minutes, they're just randomly punching somebody in the face really hard. It's always hilarious. But it doesn't have a super horny Robin Williams head. <laughs> or body. The head was not horny. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that was weird. 
All right. Um, wait, so you said you saw two movies? Spider-Man Homecoming, I watched also. Hey, I watched uh, that yesterday, too. Good yeah. choice. Yeah. Wow, you guys are really linked up. I'm telling you. It's something's going to happen. He's we're, my we're, like, we're like Ray and Kylo right now, man. You're, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're like my nemesis or something. Doug, are you, are you making this happen? <laughs> <laughs> are you linking us? <laughs> Emperor Smoke. I'm... Got my new Twitter name. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Father Spliffmas. Oh, that's still a good one around the holidays. holidays. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, too I, late now. That man, Spider-Man. It's still Kwanzaa. Spider-Man's so good. I don't, I don't, I don't want to... That movie is so it good. Is so great. That movie is so good. Well, you guys so link fun. up on everything. <laughs> I, nerded, um, I nerded out on that movie. I liked it. I liked it very much. I liked, uh, you know, I wish every superhero movie had also Tony Stark. I like, uh, I like Robert Downey Jr. just hanging around. And, uh, you know, like... The kid who played Ned was great. Yeah. And uh, who's, who's Spider-Man? Tom... Holland. Tom Holland, Tom Holland. Yeah. He's a Brit. Yeah. I had no idea. His they accent is superb. They all are these yeah, days. Yeah, you can't be an American. They, they are. You can't trust any right? actor even, anymore. Even the, uh, the black actors are all Brits now, too. They're, Do they're, you yeah, think Black Panther is, assets? right? Do you yeah. think part of the reason it's so good is because we know that character so well that we've seen all these other movies? Yeah. Do you think it's because they started sort of later? Well, I hated all three Raimi Spider-Mans. I really liked the first Garfield. I thought the second Garfield was so bad it ruined the first one. Oh, and, and Tale so, of Two Kitties? Yeah. <laughs> you had me confused as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, it took me a second, but that was really good. That was really good. I'm pretty fast when I have masake. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Tale Two Kitties ruined the first Garfield. Go on. <laughs> but yeah, Spider Man's just so, good. and I love that he's like got the Iron Man. He's got the heads up display and the suit that talks to him. He's like spi- he's like Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah, Spider Man. Because when I think about why nice. Homecoming so good, I'm like, well, Michael Keaton. But it's not even that. Like, he was Tom great. Holland is real charming, and it just works. He's he is just a great Spider Man. This yeah. is a great Spider Man. Michael Keaton was fantastic. Though. He is great amazing, and, he's and really good. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I, I you know kind of wish you guys could just go home now and jerk off to it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think which Too scene. Too late. Do we even have hashtags? <laughs> <laughs> Another awkward Christmas. <laughs> if I can get 500 hashtags, just kidding. <laughs> was it was it something with Marissa Tomei or was it? Oh, you'll never know. <laughs> yeah. She's 53, you guys. Whoa. Yeah, and we we all looked. I call her Aunt May or May not. <laughs> <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense at all. Not at all. That was a dumb thing to call a person. I wish I. But may. she is That's a good. Aunt, she's a good Aunt May. I wonder who Uncle Ben was. I'm like excited what excited for more of that. Like what actor that would have been? <laughs> Idris Elba. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Pesci, probably. All right. <laughs> uh, turn it off, Bert. Let the games begin! <laughs> now, people were busy for the holidays, so I forgive everybody, but uh, not a lot of name tags for you guys to... Uh, pour over, but there are enough, and one that lights up. So, All right. Oh, what's that over there? Mr. Okay. And uh, so, the, oh, Jacob went right for it. I knew that. I knew that might happen. And uh, while you guys are out there uh, perusing and choosing, we'll do a brief commercial break. We'll be right back. Today's show is brought to you in part by Audible. Audible offers an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more from the leading audiobook publishers, broadcasters, entertainers, magazine and newspaper publishers, and business information providers. Membership includes one free audiobook a month, exclusive sales, and 30% off all regularly priced audiobooks. And unlike a streaming or rental service, with Audible, you own your books and can access them anytime, anywhere, right from your smartphone. And now Audible is offering our listeners a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. Just go to audible.com slash Doug and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs. Download a title free and start listening. It's that easy. Go to audible.com slash D-O-U-G or text D-O-U-G to 500-500 to get started today. 
Need a recommendation? How about The Bedwetter, Stories of Courage, Redemption, and Pee, written and narrated by past and future DLM guest Sarah Silverman. Oh, I got to get her back on the show sometime soon. Again, just go to audible.com slash Doug or text Doug to 500-500 to get a free audiobook with a 30-day trial today. Back to the show. Okay, we're back. Jacob. Uh, somehow Jacob ended up with two name tags. Well, the, the first one I'm... Following the rules is not his thing. No, well, you know, it's going to be a year. I might as well go full tilt today. Right. <laughs> but uh, the first one is because, well, we talked about this on, on Twitter today. This one I'm not playing for, but it's uh, Steve Juice, and he, but he, instead of me, he put Moshe Kasher. Which is something that happens all the time because of anti-Semitism and glasses, I think. I know People the always put Moshe on when they're trying to put me on the poster. So, and he's sitting right up front, so I had to show everybody, this guy hates the Jews, he thinks we all look alike. <laughs> and, uh, I, <laughs> I look just like Moshe Cash. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do a parody song, dude. <laughs> Because Jacob loves Weezer. Yeah. I just burned him with a Weezer lyric. I love Weezer, and I yeah. love Moshe Kasher. And I also love... loves Weezer. I love uh, Star Wars, too. And this one, this, I'm playing, this is what I'm playing for, The Empire Strikes Matt. I have to say, uh, I play, I've done Douglas movies here a few times, and I've seen Matt, and we kind of know Matt. He smokes weed with us and stuff. And I've seen this poster every time, and I've never picked it. And, and I've thought like to myself, if he's there again with the same fucking one, I'm going to take it. And there he was, so I took it. Yeah. Persistence pays off. Yeah. Way to go, Matt. And I think I'm Luke, you're, uh, you're Lando, actually. Not you, Mike. Doug is Lando in this case. I'm Lando? And I'm... <coughs> I can't... I don't know who I am. A stormtrooper or something. Leia. I'm Leia. Of course. Of course. Because of all the drugs and plastic out, That's a real painting that he put those faces on. Yeah. So uh, don't, don't ruin it. There's a frame and everything. It's an actual canvas. Yeah. I don't know. I don't get it. Well, it says date of manufacture 11 slash 15 on the back. So I don't think he actually painted it. But it also says somebody maybe that's a, a shithead. A machine painted don't it. Don't say who the shithead. Yeah, don't don't s- well, yeah, we know I don't not e- to say the shithead. Is there right. a shithead? I don't even know. No, there's not a shithead. It just says it says carb phase two. So I wonder if that's a science project yeah, that has created this shithead. experiment that we have in front of us. Well, well, don't you have a shithead on there, Matt? You have such confidence in Jacob. I don't think I need one. He doesn't wow. Need one. Doesn't need one. Don't jinx it. It's exciting. Well, if we can use Moshe's shithead if we need to. <laughs> Oh, you had one. He's got a backup one. It's a one. contingency. Yeah, he's ready. Yeah. yeah mine Mike, I didn't see a shit on the back of this one either. I wanted to go to the back because I always think it's important for the guests to go out and get stuff all the way in the back. So I went all the way to the back, but I didn't see one with weed on it. So if you had one back there with weed, I, f- I apologize. I wanted. There was to a guy there. waving a blunt wrap around. Like yeah, there was just a dude waving a Dutch Masters blunt wrap around back there, but no action, nothing to put in it. But I did get <laughs> what we do in the shadows, <laughs> which is uh, not only a great movie. But a solid uh, poster here, except uh, he just changed the chain. It looks like he just changed his name. But, but it's printed out. It's very fine, uh, fine print. It's yeah. high quality paper. He changed a letter, literally. Very expensive. <laughs> changed a letter. Looks like some sort of billboard ad or something. Yeah, people uh, yes. involved in that movie have been on this podcast. So I'm very, very excited. It's a great movie. Yeah. And uh, they're making a sequel. Yep. I believe it's called Werewolves. Yeah. Or Werewolves. Werewolves is what it's called. Werewolves. Yes, yeah. I'm in. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Ngayo? Yes. What do you got there? I oh, what well, you Kaylee this, Driver. This is perfect. <laughs> All you need is one killer sack. Doug, you're double cast in this film as Kevin Spacey and uh, Aisa Gonzalez. Well, yeah, it was probably her first, and then, you know, the scandal came out, and they had to recast yeah, Spacey. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> so then I got in there. It, it, Kaylee put herself in there pretty good, and I'm low-key bummed that I'm not Jamie Foxx or John Hamm, so... Next time. It's okay. I still picked it. Yeah, you're just talking about Screeching it. halt. Yeah, you're just talking about it. Have you considered Amway? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's who they're playing for. I got a series of games worked out and uh, hopefully some time to do it. Is anybody in a rush to get out of here tonight? You got uh, work tomorrow or do you have the week off? All right. Well, okay. Let's, let's just see how late the uh, lights stay on. <laughs> um, let's play a game. I want you guys to take turns naming every movie ever made. Go. 
Wings. All right, we're starting early. The I one like with it. the train. All right, you're out. That's awful early. It's a terrible... The great train robbery. Terrible thing that that happened the to you. Galloping but, horse. <laughs> wait, I don't know if that's what it was called. It may, may have had one in it, but... You mean the Lumiere, the Lumiere Brothers train thing, not the, or did you mean the D.W. Griffith train thing? No, 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 I meant the Lumiere Brothers. No, okay. Of course, that's, of course. That's actually the called, superior train film. That's actually called the thing with the train, though, you're right. In fact, I think the other film was so bad it ruined the Lumiere Brothers version <laughs> for me. I grew up watching Lumiere Brothers and... Wow. All right. This is like <laughs> deep film school It's great to be stuff. here, it's great to be here between two titans of this game. Right in the tip of the tank. The first game we're going to play is a little something called Alex's Jason and Deb's IMDb game. <laughs> I'll start reading off the uh, top four of somebody's uh, IMDb page, and then as soon as you want to buzz in with your own name, or another word if you want to choose a different word other than your own name, because some people think a shorter word is easier to say. Mike, uh, you're the only one syllable person on the panel. Um, Hepatitis. That's what you want to say every time you buzz in, because you have to you have to pick something and stick with it, which is the tag tagline for hepatitis. <laughs> it's the advertising slogan, um, and then. Uh, you know, you get bonus points for each additional movie you can name that person was in in their top four. And we've got three rounds and a tiebreaker if necessary. And this game only determines who goes first in the next game, so no pressure. Although I know Jacob likes to win every game. <laughs> As well he should. Points it out whenever it happens. Just at the Gramercy in New York where I've never lost a game. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking N NBD. about. NBD. <laughs> <clears throat> And this is, of course, just between the people on stage. No yelling out. And I'm talking to myself as well. <laughs> and the guy sitting next to Chad. Or, no, wait, my, whatever. Who's best known for on IMDb starts with the Grand Budapest Hotel. Lot Mike. A lot of people in that, Mike. You're taking quite a chance wow. here. Negative I'm take one a chance. point if you're wrong. Right out of the gate, I'm going to go for the glory. Ray Fine. That is incorrect. All right. Give him a shot. Yeah. With that narrowed down, that it's not Ray Fiennes, you go, either you guys want to uh, jump in? I'll no. wait for one more. All right. Jurassic Park. Oh. Jacob. Jeff Goldblum. That's more like it. Yes, yeah. Jeff Goldblum. I, I knew that. Now Jacob gets to try to guess two more Jeff Goldblum joints. Okay, let's go with uh, the Jurassic Park, The Lost World, or The Lost World, Jurassic Park, however that goes. Sure. Okay, and uh, Independence Day. They went with The Fly. Um, one of my great, favorites. Great movie. My favorites. Yeah, and Independence Day, so that's one more point for Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you got this, Mike. Round two starts with Reservoir Dogs. Ungayo. Oh, man, that is, that is a risky move. Let's yeah, it see is. see what you got. Harvey Keitel. That is correct! That's, wow. Well done, well done. This gentleman over here toasted you. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Here's to you, Ndayo. <laughs> All right, so you can guess three more, possible three more points if you get named three more Harvey Keitel joints. I'm going to need some more sake soon. Bad Lieutenant. Uh, Two more. <laughs> Comma, it's not the. Oh, 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 oh. The one with the thing where he's the. Uh, mm. No yes, Way yes, Out. Yes. No Way Out, okay. Oh. 
I don't fucking know. He got kicked off Apocalypse Now. You don't have a third one? Well, I will in a minute. Uh, it's probably not on there because, you know, obscureness or whatnot. Um, fucking the movie that she'll be... Oh, uh, Pulp Fiction. Okay. Big one. Yeah. Uh, his number two, according to IMDb, is the Grand Budapest Hotel. And then... Uh, <laughs> or I apologize. Number two is Bad Lieutenant, so you get a point for that. <laughs> then Grand Budapest. And finally... Pulp Fiction, so that is two more bonus points for Ngayo, who's in the lead now, with a total of three against Jacob's two, and uh, thanks, thanks for joining us, Mike. I went for the glory, and I didn't get any of it. <laughs> this is funny, because Jacob mentioned this and how much he loves it. Who's best known for starts with spider Dash man. Oh, oh Ngayo might be poking around. No? Nothing? Okay, the second title. Ungayo. Oh, he's going for it. Kirsten Dunst. No! <laughs> wow, that's a great break for Jacob. I tried. Mike now might have a chance. Now you're back down to two. No, it's a great break for Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> kept my I'm looking at the numbers. <laughs> it says to fuck up. But you never know. No, I know. The third title. The Fault in Our Stars. That's the second or the third? Oh, I apologize. The second... <laughs> so that's the second. Second title, third most popular film. Got it. Third one. R two D two. But the second one actually is the Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Fault in Our Stars is a movie, young young adult novel kind of movie that you guys didn't watch. And don't know what kind of awesomeness was in it. My I'll daughter give, loves I'll give you the fourth title for one point. Can I chime back in? No. Damn it. <laughs> Shadow of the Vampire. Spider Man, Grand Buddhist Best Hotel, Hoopadest Dobell, Fault in Our Stars, well, and Shampire I, of the Vampire. <laughs> Shampire! <laughs> I have a Shampire of the Vado. <laughs> Chipotle. Any guesses, you two? I have a face in mind, but I can't remember his name. Oh, shit. I can't think of anyone that's in all those movies. That's in Spider Man? I didn't see The Fault in Our Stars. Grand Budapest Hotel, Fault in Our Stars. And that he played like an old uh, a writer who uh, the hero of the movie <laughs> is dying. <laughs> And she really wanted to meet him, and then she met him, and he was a total All right, Mike, dick. Mike, Mike, Mike. Is it Willem Dafoe? That is correct. <laughs> yeah, see, Mike is back at zero, so I was wrong about you, Mike. But you're out for the tiebreaker, Mike. Sit this one out, because All right. Ngayo and Jacob each have two points. Whoever gets in first with the correct name is going to take this, this game. <laughs> Who's best known for starts with Hannah? Jacob. Who is it? I hope I do it right. Sergi Ronan. <laughs> Close enough. Sergi Ronan. That is right. You win. Hey, something cool. That guy from uh, the little the bellboy wasn't he? And he was Flash in Spider-Man: Homecoming too. That's, That's right. Tie in. Yeah, That's that right. guy's good. I like that guy. Uh, Brooklyn Atonement and the Lonely Bones. Lovely Bones. <laughs> lonely Bones. Well, you know, when you bury a body, his bones are going to be lonely. And Lady Bird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Green that, Lady that, Bird. Which that hasn't seen? made her top four yet. No, it will. I think it will. I think she's definitely, well, can't say definitely, but very strong uh, Oscar, at least an Oscar nomination. I hope it wins. Such a good movie. Yeah, it might win something. It might win, like, screenplay. Greta Gerwig did a great job directing and writing it. It's just a little, you know, 
small for Oscars. But, you know, Moonlight was a pretty small movie. And Lady Bird just passed over Moonlight for uh, now it's the highest grossing A24 movie with oh. like uh, 28 million or They're something. They're crushing it. Yeah. They're good. Can't wait to find out whoever's in charge did something bad. <laughs> <laughs> the A stands for assault. <laughs> That's a joke, you guys. Still, please hire me. The A actually stands for Al Franken in A24, a lot of people. Al. Al the Eagle. Let's play ABCD's Nuts. Um, I got to give respect to not only, uh, you know, you guys for being here tonight during the holiday taint, but also just the expression holiday taint. <laughs> so we are going to spell holiday taint. We'll start with you, Jacob, then we'll go to Mike and then Ungayo. And uh, the first letter for you, obviously, is H. Uh, there might be a theme. Okay. And uh, just name any movie that begins with letter H. And if you match what I wrote down, you uh, automatically win this game. And I'll be so happy because I think okay. we're, we're a little behind schedule. If it's not this, it fucking should be. How about Home for the Holidays? That is correct. Yeah. Wow. You're literally Home for the Holidays right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> we got to keep going. That's stupid. <laughs> but let's just try it. Let's see... Uh, I'll, I'll change it to Jacob. I'm going to change the rules of the game. I know you love this sort of thing, but you're no Sam Levine. Um, <laughs> you don't get as squirmy as he does. Uh, the person who gets the most matches is going to win this game. I still think you'll win, Jacob. Uh, the next letter is O to uh, Mike. Uh, I'm just going to go with uh, One Floor Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Office Christmas Party. Okay. L and Gaio. Close. So close. These are all, if you haven't figured out, these are all movies that take place on or during the beginning or end of the holiday taint. I knew Little that drummer boy. I went with my oh, guess. Go ahead. Know. Little drummer boy? Sure. No, less than zero. <laughs> Jacob, Makes I. Makes more sense. Iracal on 34th Street. Iracal? Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't have an eye, and I know you want to keep the game moving, so. I'll be home for Christmas. Good one. Uh, Jason Taylor Thomas? Mike. D. Or Justin Taylor Thomas. Oh, Jonathan, oh my God, that you had took three guesses and that people corrected you. I was ashamed for everybody. I'm really supposed to know that? No, and they're really they're not supposed to. Nobody should know that. <laughs> or care. D is your letter, Mike. I'm gonna go with go with what used to be the greatest Christmas movie of all time until everybody, including my mom, figured that out. It's called Die Hard. That's right, Die Hard. You got one. One one. <laughs> Ungayo, A. Ant-Man's Christmas Extravaganza. <laughs> wow, you got one word right. A Christmas story. Oh, you'll shoot your eye out. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jacob, why? <laughs> we asked that a yeah, lot. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> why, Jacob, why? Jacob, why? Why not? Why not, Doug? Why, why not? Um, <laughs> why him? <laughs> Don't, you know what? I don't want yeah, you to yeah. hurt your brain. I, I wrote down, you know what? I can't think of any movies. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go with why. I was going to go with You're a Christmas, Charlie Brown. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a tough You're one. A Christmas. You're a Christmas. T, Mike. I'm going to go with a holiday classic called Tinseltown. Is I that a holiday movie? Okay. I said The Poseidon Adventure. Okay, great. <laughs> There's got to be a morning after. If you could sing the theme song to each of these, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Give a nice variety feel to the whole thing. <laughs> a. a, a. <laughs> we'll set it. A Christmas Story 2. Oh, no. A Christmas Carol. Yeah, fuck. I... Okay, uh, this is where Jacob takes it home. I. You got this! But I already bailed on an eye. Hold on. Uh, what do you mean you bailed on it? What I, last time I did the Iracal thing because I didn't have an eye. But I knew both of his A's. Um, <laughs> I would be... Takes place around the holidays. I didn't know I had two. In Bruges. Is that a holiday movie? No, no. You know what it is? It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, fuck. That's huge. We gonna have That's a huge. good life. All right. So this is... We Mike's gonna, gonna take this, I think, because his letter is N. 
If there's an obvious one, it's not coming to me, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. Not you can't coming think to of, me. You can't think of the N-word, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the right thing to do at the right time to do it. It doesn't come as easily as for you, Jacob. Uh, 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 Nutcracker come with the... Um, uh, the holiday classic, Oh Holy Night of the Living Dead. National Lampoon's All Christmas right. Vacation. Yeah. Full well, title. I also would have accepted... The very obvious New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> we suck. Yeah. No, but you know, we got one more chance, Ungayo. The letter tie it T. Up, tie it up. The letter T? Uh huh. I'm just going to give it to you. It's the. <laughs> I figured that part out. Now, I got it. the rest but of the words are. The Polar Express. That's right! Wow! Three way tie! <laughs> well done. Dear American Comedy Company, may I please have another Tito's and soda? Regular size, I will transfer to the socket cup. <laughs> Myself. You I'm need getting, like I'm a getting little, very good at it. You need like a little ladle. It is a ladle. <laughs> Just dip it in. It'd be like a Tito's tea ceremony. <laughs> in all the time you've done the show, have you ever had these nuts hit three times? I can't think of... <laughs> Three times on these nuts. That's a different show. <laughs> well, yeah. Also, the game ends when somebody gets it right. So. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah you know, you're right. That game started off really, really good for me, but by the end, I just felt like I was getting smacked in the face by these nuts. <laughs> All right, let's remind you of the hashtags. <laughs> you're off of Sirov, Scram Shram, and bet you never heard that. And uh, in Gaios is uh, Goodbye, and. <laughs> Get high though with Ungayo. But just, but you know, send me your actual opinions with the, those hashtags. Don't just use the hashtags because I won't know whether you're saying keep them or, le- or lose them. And it basically, it's just Jacob. I'm this just, is, I'm just joking around. This is Ungayo like, stays high though. It's like putting yourself on hot or not or something. It's just like, a, this is a real recipe for my self esteem to suffer. I think you're going to be, I think it's going to be like a fucking classic Christmas movie where you're going to wake up tomorrow. And, the, you know, there's so out. many presents under the Twitter tree. It's a Kwanzaa miracle. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably use a few more. Look who's the... Never mind. <laughs> why is Kwanzaa so, like, why are you one of the, you know, like, why... Because it's not for... It wasn't designed... Right, but why do we know so much about Hanukkah but so little about Kwanzaa? Because Kwanzaa Kwanzaa was invented in 1983. They both have answers. (laughs) 1966. Oh, okay. Kwanzaa's a a much younger holiday. It's too new? Hanukkah's been around thousands of years. Yeah, okay. Or hundreds. Thousands. That's a great explanation. Thank you. And, um... but I wrote it myself. Do you think Kwanzaa's gonna catch on? It has. Yeah? Just, Just because you don't do it doesn't mean that it's not cool. I will say there's a lot of Kwanzaa stickers in the Instagram stories. You can get Kwanzaa uh, uh, Hallmark cards. So if Hallmark says it's cool, then fuck it. Oh, those stores that are all closing? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. I'm thinking they... Uh, let's hear it for the uh, wait staff here at American Comedy Company. Yes. Leave them extra money. We're cutting into their basketball time right now. Let's play. Let's play. Last Man Stanton. Dun, dun, dun. Last Man Stanton. Was very happy. What is that going? I don't All know. Right. <laughs> I just kind of started to hope someone would yeah. catch on. All right. Well, this is a sing along. <laughs> but this is the final determining game of the evening. Uh, since Jacob was the leader going into that game and it was a three-way tie, he is still the leader. But well, we're going to go to Ungayo and then to Mike. And there's a gentleman in the audience <laughs> named Matt underscore Diamond. <laughs> so this doesn't seem fair now. It doesn't seem fair at all. you chose his name tag, but, yep. you know, that's, that's your fault that's how it for goes. choosing it. It often happens this way. Matt says he's got a last mash, Stanton. Two names that mash together. Cool. Yeah, and I'd like to hear them now, Matt. It's, uh, Steve Martin Scorsese. Steve Martin Scorsese. <laughs> so the films... 
of those two. <laughs> the uh, and uh, okay. Yeah, so Steve Martin. I got some shit for you. I'm ready for this one. I mean, you know, Martin has acted and Steve has directed, so, uh, you know, basically all their films are on the line. Nothing that, like, Martin Scorsese produced uh, counts. It has to be he's either directed. in it or directed it. And um, in it. just to make this super interesting. Let's put some money on it. That's what I was going to say. I'd like, I'd like $100 <laughs> from each of you. No, where is Jeff Calliot? Calliot? Oh, <laughs> oh, look, they're holding up a baby tiger. Lion. Fuck, I ruined that one. Hey, I thought the Tiger King, the was, just tiger as, King. was just as good. The Indian <laughs> version. I like the Tiger King. They lift up the baby, drop it, and it bounces around. So, um... Their heads are made of rubber and their tails are made of spray. How do you say your last name? Calouette. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought it might be something like What that. did you just call us? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Calouette also wrote to me today saying he has a name for Last Man Stand, like a regular name, but we've never played one with... Holy shit, can I have several more? Oh, these are for these guys? Yeah, he doesn't want the lime anyway. Just get right to all that good cranberry. <laughs> How's the, how's the UTI, buddy? It's clearing up. It's clearing up. <laughs> it's better than when the show started. <laughs> really? They really did bring me an extra one? <laughs> Enjoy your walk. Super onto it. You just hold it, Mike. I like fucking Neil Hamburger. I'm holding no, like five glasses right now. <laughs> can't just pass this drink around. It's how you get hepatitis. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? I guess what did Santa get killer. Paris Hilton for Christmas? Damn. It's my Neil Hamburger They brought impression. me two of them in two different size glasses because they thought, you know, Doug clearly has issues with sizes. It's clearly, like drunk Sesame Street. This is can't tiny? Make up his mind. D- Doug, listen. Size matters not. Uh, Calouette? That's why you like that movie so much. <laughs> <laughs> did I yep. say it right? Calouette? Okay. For anybody who wants to follow him on Twitter at CAI, no one's going to bother. That's not how you spell <laughs> I will if you vote for me, buddy. C- oh, shit. He'll follow you back if you vote for him. C-A-I-L-L-O-U-T-T-E. And uh, you have a suggestion, just one name. What, what's the name you're bringing to the table? Amy Adams. Amy Adams, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Be careful with that if you get her confused with. Uh, I got plenty of Steve Martin, people. Scorsese. Yeah. I got all of those. <laughs> who do you get her mixed up with? Isla Fisher. Oh, Isla Fisher. I like people who say Isla, though, with the confidence that you said it. Steve Martin, Scorsese Adams. Oh. Buscemi Adams? I don't know. No. Steve right. Buscemi Adams. So you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's next week. <laughs> um, you guys, we're going to go fast because you got a lot of things to choose from between Amy Adams, Steve Martin, and Martin Scorsese. Or as Zach Galifianakis calls him in Birdman or the unexpected virtue of ignorance, Martin Scorsese. <laughs> That's the Italian way to say it. It's mozzarella. <laughs> yeah. It's a, you know? I think he got away with it because uh, the takes were so long. And they were like, we're not going to do the whole thing over again because he <laughs> said Martin Scorsese weird. All right. <laughs> uh, Jacob, I'm okay. not even going to write him down. I'm just going to remember with my brain oh, area. Um, I know I get competitive on the show today, but I would, uh, sometimes I, get, I can be overly competitive. I'd like to say it's good to be on with you guys. You're all good fellas. On, I thought I'd start the thing on the first thing. Yeah, get that show-offy thing going. Now, now I wish I was in. You started that thing. I know. Well, maybe some of my guests did, too. But, Ngayo? Uh I'm glad you're not treating us like we're a bunch of dirty, rotten scoundrels. Yeah. Amy Adams classic. <laughs> Mike? Uh, the first movie I'm going to name is Father of the Bride. 
Okay, we'll come back to you in a little bit for the next one. That's <laughs> my sentence. Jacob. <laughs> uh, Man of Steel. All right. Ungayo. The Jerk. Mike. Uh, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. All right. You guys each have a lifeline, too, by the way. Your name tag. You, you got to go to Matt there, uh, Jacob. Not yeah. now. Not now, no. When you choose to. Yeah. This one's kind of a gamble. Casino? Uh, <laughs> I, hate, I hate you so much. <laughs> Ungayo? Roxanne. <laughs> Roxanne. That's right. Keep that guy away from my cocaine. <laughs> All right. There's only one person in this room that does cocaine, apparently. <laughs> or or no, I just, a movie. I was taking a sip. <laughs> <laughs> I would have cheered. <laughs> but that one guy went crazy for it. <laughs> oh, you mean the guy I'm hanging out with after the show? Yes. <laughs> Where are we? Mike's no, the American Comedy Company. Trick question. Mike. Uh, a few years ago, I was living in L.A., and it was right around Christmas, and I was walking home, and as I was walking home from the improv theater up there, uh, there was a couple of dudes who were speaking in Eastern European accents, and they were fighting on the street, and they were fighting in front of us, and me and another dude just that we didn't know each other. We were standing on the street. They were fighting, and we walked over, and we had to break them up. We were like, guys, stop fighting. Stop fighting. And they were like, we're brothers, and we're like, well, your mom would not be happy about what you're doing here right around Christmas. Like, stop fighting on the street. And they went back. They were, their clothes were all torn up, and we got them to break up, and they went home. And that is my L.A. story. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you. You know, I think they said it best at the end of Smoking the Bandit. We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. <laughs> Eastbound, just watch old bandit run. Do you know how many planes, trades, and automobiles I could have taken ah! while that story was happening? The Last Waltz. Yes, concert film. That's a gangster. You guys didn't like my story. There's a bunch of jokers up here. It's like the Muppet movie. Okay. Is that Scorsese director? That's a Scorsese movie, yeah, yeah. No yeah. shit? Yeah, no, that's Steve true. Martin was in the Muppet Moving movie. Moving right along. Would you like to smell the cap? Oh, that's but right. Wait, I think you went out of order. Did, he, did Mike go out of order? I think it was a Oh, guy. maybe. It doesn't matter. No, I don't think so. No? Yeah, Mike was third in this game. Okay. So it's back on me? Yeah. Uh, I, I can't think of a joke, so Mean Streets. Yeah, just do it. Mean <laughs> Streets, Mean Streets. All right. Starving Harvey Keitel from the Grand Budapest. The Pink Panther. You know, they filmed the Mean Streets in uh, New York. In the Mean Streets of New York? And down here in the gas lamp, they, they filmed the P Streets. <laughs> in Is New there Orleans. A P Street? I know there's letter streets, L, and no P doesn't get to P. Because that would be really horrible. In Atlanta, they filmed the, the P Lean Streets. P Streets smell like P. What's that? I said in Atlanta, they filmed the Lean Streets. But you, Hey. Hey. Percocet. Hey. Molly Percocet. All right. Is he oh, that's what I forgot to do. I had Percocet. And the car had a blend Whose in turn it. is it? It's mine. Okay, Mike. Did we say Raging Bull? Oh, good choice. Yeah. I mean, now you did. There you go. <laughs> Jacob? Uh, I mean, the king, the, the king of comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Scorsese yeah. classic. Yeah, since... That's a good choice. Yeah. Ungayo? Was it Sergeant Bilko? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I know. I'm weird. <laughs> this one is super, <laughs> super obscure. I can't remember if Scorsese director or not. It's called The Godfather. He was not the director. He did not. It's not really obscure. But Amy Adams played the baby. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to use your lifeline, Mike? Is that in the right? No. Chad, what do you got? Oh, <laughs> cheaper by the dozen. Steve Martin, classic Steve Martin. All right, film. cheaper by the dozen. You got saved temporarily. I didn't know you. Could I don't use feel good for your chances now, though. You can lose. I didn't know you could use lifeline after you guess it after correctly. After you failed spectacularly. Yeah, no worries. Well, he seems shocked to, with the, by that information. So maybe it's he knows something we don't know. Is it, uh, so? Your on, turn. On me? Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Justice League. Yeah. Yeah. 
Parenthood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Steve Martin. Uh, Enchanted is a great flick. Yeah, Amy Starring Adams. Starring Amy Adams. There you yeah. go. There you go. There's two things I want to say, and I'm really torn. I feel like the man with two brains. <laughs> Somebody said, fuck yes. It's a good fucking movie. Yeah, fuck yes. Pen- Pennies from heaven. Mm-hmm. The Three Amigos. Oh. Yeah. Mike's back in it. Jacob? All of me. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Back and bowl. Back and bowl. Back and bowl? Miss Cutwater? Um, I will now reveal to you the movie <laughs> which contains either Amy Adams Steve Martin. or Steve Martin or the great Martin director Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. Yes. And the movie that I will reveal to you in this moment will be known As Pink Panther Two. Whoa! Is that, is that what it's? Is that full title? The or? Pink Panther Two. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob. I mean Mike. Sorry, Mike. Did we say the jerk yet? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say a movie well, starring Amy Adams. No, no. I've been writing him down. He's Sam Levining it. Oh. I'm Sam Levining exactly. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna say a movie that I think Amy Adams is in called Leap Year. Yep. There you go. You can only watch it once every four years, though. I remember it's about That's Ireland, plenty. That's and plenty. she has red hair. Go ahead. Yeah. That's what? Jacob. What would you say? That's plenty of times to watch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, how about The Aviator? How about it? Never saw it. Don't know. Ungayo. Hey, Kaylee. Oh, what's going to his lifeline. What's this the is one great. where Amy talks to aliens and shit? What? Arrival. Okay, Whoa. Wait, now you got the whole audience yelling it out, so let's not do that anymore, you guys. Thanks, Kaylee. But at least Kaylee said it. <laughs> she said Kaylee said it. Yeah. Arrival. But, yeah. But as soon as you start looking into the crowd going, what was that movie? People, oh, now we get to yell out. That's how it works. That's why Alex Kaylee Trebek doesn't let the uh, contestants ask the audience. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's one of, the, one of the reasons why. Uh, where are we at? Uh, Mike. Jacob, Jake, uh, Mike. Sorry, it's Mike. me. Uh, Martin Mike. Scorsese did a movie Mike. with Nicolas Cage and Amy It's called Bring on the Night. What? No, Bring no. on the Night? No. Bring with, the Night? Who with what? No, that's John Landis. Okay. With no, Jeff Goldblum are, and Michelle Okay, Piper? stop talking. I will say whether an answer is right or wrong, and then I will not add more information to help the other players later on in the game. Mike is out. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> I did my best. Good job, Feel good I about guess it. My best wasn't good enough. <laughs> All right, Jacob. In honor of our, our fallen comrade Mike, Waking Up the Dead is the movie he's thinking of. Oh, oh, there you go. That's right. You're right. Oh. That is also incorrect. You are out. No, it's not. It is. <laughs> Ngayo. Oh, shit. No, it's not. I think What'd I know what it, it is. Well, but then I should be able to go to my What'd lifeline. You call it? I said Waking Up the Dead. But yeah, I should, you did. But I should be able to go to my lifeline. All then. right. If, if he did. But it's I don't, your last I don't, episode I don't, of the show for I, yeah, I, so I don't need the lifeline. I actually don't need the lifeline. I don't need the lifeline now, but I, I, I'll use it because I have to to get out of this pickle. No. Yeah, no, I mean, I only let Mike do it because he wasn't really... Like, oh, do you not want me to do it? I'll be, but I, I can you do know it. what I mean. Like, it's more fun when somebody <laughs> like you gets it wrong. Then one sure. nice, oh, wait, 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 a nice wait, guy wait. like Mike, he gets it wrong. It's right, sad. Okay. Yeah, no nice. I'll well, I had that. so many when more. When you get I... it wrong, it's fucking hilarious. True. I said a lot. <laughs> I have a lot more things to say. So, and a lot more movies. All right, keep going. But uh, you know, Ungayo has a right to take this before the council. Okay, I've been in that situation. Uh, you can give me one just to say you did it. How about this? How about this? Matt has to give me the actual correct title of the movie that Jacob was trying to say. <laughs> Wait, what? He said waking up the dead. I mm. <laughs> he, he can't tell him what to do and you're wrong again. You're digging a deeper wrong hole while thinking what? you still deserve to be in this game. Jake knows all I about think I do the wrong hole. Here. Why? Because I let him have a pass? Wake up the dead? Wake up the dead? No! It's not wake up the dead. But uh, what did you give him anyway? Uh, baby mama. Baby mama. Okay. Ngayo? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm probably going to have to do a different one, but there's the one that I wanted right there. 
Use your microphone voice. No. <laughs> there was one that he wanted. It was, it was right, right there. there. It's right there. <laughs> Fucking what's her name's in it and the stuff and the guys in it with the thing. Um Oh, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. See, yeah. it's pretty easy. Um It's got the guy. The Spanish prisoner. Ooh. Oh, you did it. A good one. Yeah. Sorry. Mammoth for the win. Yeah, you gotta love Rebecca Pigeons in that shit. <laughs> you have this weird drinking problem right now, Doug. Physics, gravity. It's just hard to pour it into my sake cup when there's way too much ice in the in the in the initial drink. It's like a uh, uh, rolling I work on sobriety that. test. I gotta get it with like low ice. But it's still fun to spill all over everything. It's all, it's always hard to pour out of those glasses. They're designed. They, yeah, they're right. designed not to. They're designed to drink out of. <laughs> right, which doesn't involve pouring something into something else at all. It's a different You're anyway. Right. The seal is different. It was Francis Ford Coppola directed The Godfather. Yeah. Who says Coppola? And who gets applause for saying mm. that at all? Thank you. It's Thank you very much. Coppola. Aren't we a bunch of film nerds? Did, did I win? <laughs> Nuh-uh. Oh, all right. Yeah. No, Spanish Prisoner got you to remain in the game, but we're back to Jacob, who still has plenty more answers. Shutter Island. Yeah, there you go. So now we're back to a few minutes of watching you guy who think. The Island of Dr. Moreau? Which one of those people was involved with that? Scorsese? No. A young Amy Adams was a little gross dude. No, I would like to change my answer. That was directed by John Frankenheimer. To Wake the Dead. What's that? Wake the dead? Oh, my God. No. no. <laughs> Sorry, no, Kaylee. No, I tried. No. All right. Well, so we got there eventually. It was, it was ugly, but we made it. And uh, I'm proud to say that, you know, on his final show, <laughs> <laughs> our winner is Jacob Serum. I wanted that for Matt. He's had that sign so many times. He's had the same name tag so many times. Do you want to try to, uh, can you give these bags to Matt? Can you pass them over to him? He's pretty close there, and you can uh, help him out and give him his uh, name tag back. There's no shithead in the back of the uh, Chados. What we, no, I don't think so. We live in the Chados. Uh, so what's your shithead, Chad? Okay. And uh, that's an obvious one, I guess. And, uh, but... Uh, Kaylee Driver, she uh, put one on there, so that's nice. Oh, I think this is the same. This is a common shithead. I mean, it's more specific, but anyway. A commonly specific. Yeah. Um, I'd say, what did we miss? But we missed a thousand different... uh, I said I would, but we're not going to do that. (laughs) Dying to scream out at us. There's so many titles we missed. It's not. There's no reason for anybody to be embarrassed. It's a, uh, it's a shush it. <laughs> or are you? This guy suddenly wants to play tag. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Dude, I'm doing a show right now, but I will fucking tag you later. Not it. Ungayo, <laughs> <laughs> what do you got to plug, buddy? Uh, January third, Wind River. Oh, let's oh, start again. New Year's Eve, Punchline, Sacramento, both shows. January 3rd, Wind River Casino. January 11th, the Ashkenaz in Berkeley. February 1st and 2nd, International Cannabis Business Conference, San Francisco. Follow me on the stuff, Ungayo 420. (laughs) Stupid antics with all the... uh, All the... My drinking over you here, ruined Jacob. the artwork? It ruined your... Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> On my last show, you ruined my seven-year-old son's art, Doug. <laughs> Douche <laughs> loves movies. Yeah, Blur loves movies. Here you go, Matt. <laughs> right into his hands. Mm. I'm telling you. Stay with it if you don't think you have skills. You might get lucky. <laughs> I'll have him. I'll have him do you another one. Oh, that's sweet. I like that one because it's just my face. It's the only part that got all messed up. Uh, what do you got to plug, Mike Schram? First of all, great job, Mike Schram. Thank you very First much. Time guest. Thank you. 
Appreciate you being so kind to me. Uh, come out and see us at Funny City Improv. It's up at the Lafayette Hotel. We do great shows there Thursday through Sunday. Thursday through Sunday every single week. So come out and see some improv. Yeah. And I'm very excited to tell you this is a premiere for Doug Loves Movies audience. We have a, I'm working on a new site with a couple people. It's a brand new site about uh, marijuana and news, reviews, all kinds of stuff. It's called TheElegantStoner.com. It's up and available now. It's going to be opening in January, but it's called TheElegantStoner.com. Check it out for a bunch of different fun news and bits about uh, smoking weed. Okay. I like the sound of that. Yes, and? <laughs> it's a great uh, sound. It's an improv it dig. Improv. Comedians hate improv. improv. <laughs> it's a thing. Having fun with improv. Uh, Ungayo. I did mine. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do mine? Yeah. New Year's I Eve at the punchline. I Sacramento. just feel like it's best for Jacob to just leave <laughs> quietly. <laughs> January 3rd. Without a phone. Just you know. silently slink off into the weird green room with the uh, big door. Hashtag Saron. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All next week at your mama's house. What do, you, my <laughs> what do you got to plug, Jacob? Give, give us everything you're doing in the upcoming year. Oh, I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. I'm going to be uh, appearing on Name Tags as Moshe Kasher <laughs> for the foreseeable future. Uh, and I will also be at this very club uh, the weekend of uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day. So come, come back and see me. There. And I'll, yeah. March. The oh, weekend, oh, I think it's the 15th, 16th, 17th. It's oh, a, March, okay. They gave me the whole weekend. Couldn't believe Fantastic. it. Yeah. So proud yeah. of you. St. Patrick's Day is on Saturday. Is it? So it's 16, 17, 18. Because St. Patrick's Day always on the 17th. No. Yeah, always the 17th. Yeah. 15, 16, yeah. 17. Saturday. You're right. It is. Yeah. Oh, I know. Wait, did... I know my calendars. <laughs> Ask Tech Quiz or me, Mayan. 1982. Go. When was St. Patrick's Day? 82. It, it was on March 42nd. <laughs> <laughs> the 33rd of February. <laughs> Uh, what do you, what else? That's it. That's your. Yeah, I'm just gonna plug that thing and then my, you know. Uh, oh, and fucking do the hashtag. Do the, the yeah. The vote him back vote on the me. show. Yes. Yes. You have to write to me on Twitter. Say please have Jacob back. Hashtag ear off of sear off. If the hashtag isn't in there, I will disqualify your vote because we're trying to you know get this uh, this thing going. And that would be shorter to just say sear off, but I want to have his proper so, spelling in there because this is a promotional stunt. One F. So I have a question. If people is the, are you just counting hashtags? Because you said earlier that if people said that you know there's probably going to be a lot. I want them to include the hashtag, but I need 500 people to say to me in some don't. form or another, do not please have no. Jacob back. Okay. Like, do or, not, please. Or they could write to me and Jacob say, back. please, a year sounds good. Or I'm having back you know, problems. Maybe let's have some uh, let's have some parole, uh, mi- you know, hearings in a year, and let's you know, yeah. let's, let's not rush into bringing him back in a year. I have I'm having some major back, you know, which might lead to like some surgery. So maybe a year would be nice. You know? Okay, well now you're. <laughs> I don't know what you want now, but. I'm just trying to put a, I'm trying to pre I'm trying to prep myself for a bad result oh, with, okay. a, with a with a positive spin. I think 500 people are going to come to your side within uh, probably, <laughs> you know, probably around August. By about August, we'll probably have. Okay. Because we're going to mention it on every show until you get there, and ho- hopefully you will. By and, August, uh, you could make 500 people. Yeah, I think so. People might just say, you know, vote for it just to get me to shut up about it. And uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Happy Boxing Day in Canada. Happy Kwanzaa. And um, as always, and we'll see you on uh, Valentine's Day here at American Comedy Company. As always, and I'll see you outside on the street. Trump is a shithead. I think you might get behind this one more, though. The lady with the shitty brindle bully dog at the off-leash park (laughs) is a shit. (laughs) Play that end theme if you don't mind. Now it's time for Doug to watch another talk. He rides a boat, his viewing prowess makes him 